Hi folks, this is Charlie again. Thought I'd show a little bit more about JRuby and Visual VM, uh, give a little introduction to generational garbage collection, and show a demonstration that actually exercises the JVM's GC very nicely from Ruby code. First of all, I wanted to show the Visual GC pane again from Java's Java Visual VM. Uh, you can see that we've got a list of memory spaces over here. I'll explain a little bit more how those work later. Uh, we've got a bunch of graphs here as well that shows the amount of CPU time being spent on comp compiling code, uh, various garbage collection, garbage collections for individual memory spaces. Uh, the GC I'm running with is actually called the parallel garbage collector, which means that there are, when it does collections, many threads trying to clean up, in, clean up memory as fast as possible. Uh, now let's actually take a look at a, a little script I wrote to exercise the GC, and then we'll try and run it. This script takes uh, one of two commands, either young and ol or old. Uh, when it runs with young, it's going to create a lot of short-lived objects that uh, are only around for one loop iteration, and then are immediately dereferenced and discarded. Most of these objects don't live long enough to be promoted in the garbage collector, so they get collected pretty quickly. When we run with the old parameter, the objects are going to stick around a bit longer. It's going to do two nested loops. The first loop will create a large collection of uh, string objects stuffed into an array. The second loop that happens in inside will run for 100,000 times and do the same young generation objects that we saw before. Uh, the intent with this is to more make sure that this large array gets forced out of the young generation while this, while this inner loop runs. And then we can see what happens when the JVM actually promotes objects on the heap. Uh, so let's try and run this. I'll be running with the following command parameters. I'm using the parallel GC here. Uh, there is another GC by default called the concurrent GC, which tries to do as much as possible uh, concurrently with the program's ex execution. I'm also forcing the heap size down from the JRuby default of 500 meg down to 128 meg. Uh, this is to not put quite as much pressure on the memory subsystem of the machine I'm on and to also demonstrate a little bit more easily uh, what happens when objects get pushed out of the young generation. So let's run this. We'll go back to Visual VM and connect up with this new application which is now churning through objects. Alright, go to the Visual GC tab uh, and you can see things are happening. We've got the Eden memory space, which is where all the youngest objects are created, uh, going up and down periodically. The objects are created, they're dereferenced almost immediately, and then they're thrown away. So it almost takes no, no more, it, it rarely takes more than one garbage collection cycle for those objects to disappear, and so they never actually leave the Eden space. I can turn this refresh rate up a little bit so you can see it actually happening live. You see it fills up, gets collected, goes away uh, repeatedly. You see also down here there are two survivor generations. These are all still part of the young space, the young space in the heap. Um, as objects survive zero or one garbage collections, they get promoted into one of these two memory spaces. Uh, again, this is trying to slowly age objects so that they eventually get into the old space, but if they're very young, collect them quickly, get them out of the way. So I'm going to shut this version down, and we'll try running with the old, the old heap uh, stress program. Okay, we'll kill that. Now we'll pass old, so it'll actually push some of these objects into the old space in the heap. We'll connect up to this new one. All right, so already, already you can see that the old space is getting filled up as well. We'll turn up the refresh rate a bit so you can see it more easily. So what you can see here is the Eden space fills up, the Survivor Zero space then gets its objects, some of the objects then get promoted into Survivor One, and eventually objects actually are making it into the old heap, the old memory space. The reason that the JVM splits it up into so many different heaps is to make sure that the heaviest hit areas of memory are small, can be managed quickly, and so that it's not constantly rescanning objects that probably don't need to be collected. 
objects age out and go into a different area of memory where they're rarely checked, rarely checked to see if they should be garbage collected. Uh, that allows garbage collections in the young spaces, the Eden space especially, to be nearly instantaneous. Uh, on some other VM implementations, what you may see is there's only one heap, there's only one memory space. When you have large heaps then, even with a lot of old lived objects, they won't they continue to be scanned every single time, wasting a lot of CPU energy, wasting a lot of your program's time. Uh, by having a generational garbage collector, you're able to push those old objects off to a separate space of memory and not constantly rescan them. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about how uh, the JVM's garbage collector works. Uh, you can see that JRuby is able to make perfect use of it, uh, so thankfully we, we get that for free. And uh, also you've been able to see another view of the amazing Visual VM tool and the Visual GC plugin. Hope you'll have fun with JRuby, and I'll talk to you later.